Hello everyone. The story I'm going to share today is the minister's wise advice. This story took place during the Royal State period. There was a minister named Zhou Ji, who was very tall and exceptionally handsome. One morning, as he stood in front of the mirror, dressed in his royal court uniform, he asked his wife, "Who is more handsome?" Lord Xu or I, his wife said, "Of course, you are more handsome than Lord Xu." Lord Xu was well known for his attractive appearance and was considered the most handsome man in Qi State. When Zhou Ji heard his wife's answer, he felt very happy, but in his heart, he was not sure. So he asked his concubine the same question. And she immediately said, "Of course, you are the most handsome. How can Lord Xu compare to you?" That day, a guest came to visit him. While they are chatted, Zhou Ji asked him the same question. His guest said, "How can Lord Xu compare to you?" The next day, Lord Xu came to Zhou Ji's mansion. Zhou Ji carefully looked at Lord Xu over. And he felt that Lord Xu was indeed quite handsome. He felt that he could not compare with him. After Lord Xu left, he looked at in the mirror and felt that although he was handsome, he was not as handsome as Lord Xu. That evening, as he lay in bed, he thought, "My wife says that I am handsome because she loves me." My concubine praises me and tells me I'm handsome because she is afraid of me. My guest said that I'm handsome because he wants something from me. Thus, the answers are not the truth. The next morning, Zhou Ji went to the court to meet with King Qi Wei, and he told him the story. He said, "I did not know how handsome Lord Xu was, but my wife." My concubine and my guest all told me that I'm more handsome than he. They all tried to make me happy, but no one told me the truth. I'm telling you this story to ask you to think about something. Our Qi State has a large territory, 120 cities. The Queen and all your concubines love you. All your ministers are afraid of you. The common people all come to you for help. Think about it. Perhaps none of them are telling you the truth. They have their own agendas, and all of them want something from you, or plan to cheat you. Is there anyone you can trust to tell you the truth? Isn't this a big problem? King Qi listened to Zhou Ji and felt that what he said was reasonable. Thus, he issued a decree. It says, "All my subjects, no matter who you are, if you will point out my mistakes in person, you will be granted high word. Those who point out my mistakes in writing will be given mid-range rewards." Anyone who talks about my fault among the crowds and point out the shortcomings of the government policies will be given lower reward. After the decree was posted, ministers and people from all corners of the country all came to point out King Qi's mistakes and to tell him about his shortcomings. Every day, people crowded into the royal court. King Qi carefully listened to their criticism and suggestions, and tried to act on them. This went on for several months. Gradually, fewer and fewer people came. As a result, the Qi State's economy and military became even stronger. The other countries, Yan, Zhao, Han, and Wei, all came to visit. And show King Qi's great respect. Many people observed that he had a wisdom to make the country strong without building up the country's military or weapons. 
Thank you for listening to the story. More touching stories will be ready for you if you just subscribe it. Thank you again.